Beyonce Christmas from Philly Suns. I'm here with 8 TV. Looking back now, I don't think I would do anything different. You know, a lot of guys I can go do it again when I go to a different college, uh, bigger school. Nah, I, I wouldn't do it different. I think uh, my experience and you know, what I've been through has made me the, the man that I am today. When you think of Deontay Christmas, you think of a hard worker, you think of a guy that's never going to give up. I go around with people that see me play basketball for the last uh, five to ten years, seeing the growth of my game. But I think uh, that's because of the route that I took. So if I can do it all over again, I'll take the same step that I took, uh, just being patient and waiting and waiting until my turn, you know, the next step. The people that I attribute my success to, uh, you know, my, my dad is definitely one. If you know me, you know my dad. He's always at every game supporting me. Two is uh, John Arnett. Again, if you know me, you know John Arnett. You know I grew up under John Arnett. And uh, he was somebody you know, special to me. He was like a second father to me. Those two guys, man, they, they did that. They quit. They stayed on me. And they told me what I needed to do to get where I needed to be. And uh, this day, you know, today I'm sitting here doing where I am today because of those two people. What kept me hungry, man, is just basically my dream. So I didn't get drafted. I still remember the date, June 25th. 2009, and I always told myself, no matter what it took, I was going to get there. High school, you know, I got cut as a freshman. Made the team my sophomore year. You know, that summer, going into my junior year, I, mean, I just dedicated my life to basketball. And then my senior year, that's when I really turned it up by notch. Averaging 30 a game, leading whole state in scoring. So uh, at that point, I knew I was good enough to go in uh, college, man. And going to college, you know, same story, underdog, go in, didn't play as many minutes. I was playing behind Marty Collins, Mark Tindale. A lot of great players. Summer going into my sophomore year, man, I just, like I said, I turned it up, stayed in the gym. From that year on, I showed everybody in the country that I was good enough to be in the NBA. So right now, I'm just, uh, you know, the cycle's all over again. Just uh, right now, sitting back, waiting for my turn. Uh, if I had any advice to give uh, an up and coming dude that uh, was in my, my position, man, how I was in high school, in college, just say, uh, stay home, man. Never give up. There's times I wanted to give up, man. But, I talked to the, the people that I had in my corner and uh, they just kept me on the right path. Stay away from all the, all the negativity. And get some guys around you that's positive. Get some people around you that's positive, man. And stay hungry, stay in the gym. You know, this is what you want to do. Dedicate yourself to it. Dedicate your life to it. I mean, it's a snowstorm outside right now and I'm here with you. I'm in here in the gym with some of my, my homies, some of the guys that have been in my life for years, man. And just, just getting some work in. You know, I could be anywhere right now, but I'm here in the gym. You're gonna be great, man. That's what you gotta do every day. It's a sacrifice. Take 